Let's see if you spot a difference between these two punches. Okay, or what was the difference there? The difference was not that I just used my arm even harder, like more strength in my shoulder. The difference was that I used ground force tension to generate force all the way up that as it traveled up my body amplified so I had even more force to come out my arm. That is what we want to develop. So what's ground force tension? It's ground force connection. It is using our legs to generate force that travels up the body. So how do we do that? So look at my leg here. If I'm just moving my leg forward and back, this is open chain and the force goes out of the leg. I'm actually using force up here um, to stabilize and then my leg is just terminating the force. But if I put my leg on the ground and I drive my leg back, it actually drives my hip forward. And then that is force traveling up. I can do things with that force. So if I do the opposite, if I push my leg forward, it pushes my hips back. So you can feel this. Do it with both legs. Drive both feet backward in, uh, on the ground. It'll push your hips forward. Or do it the reverse. Right? You can see that as you, you can do, you can move your hips through, through space by driving your feet forward or back. That's it in a nutshell. But interesting things happen when we drive one foot forward and the other back at the same time. That's how we start to get that rotation. So try this right now. Stand up and push, drive one foot backward and the other foot forward. Obviously they're not moving over the ground. They're just isometrically contracting and notice how it turns you. Just get used to feeling that. Now we don't want the knees doing anything like this. Keep those in space. So you're using your, mostly your glutes, hamstrings and hip flexors, but you're not, the knees and are not really moving. So keep the knees where they are and just notice the knees will move a little bit, but they're not changing angles that much. So you're, so notice how you can just feel that rotation. So that is rotation that's happening between the legs, the femurs and the hip. That's not rotation at the next station, which is between the hips and the ribs. So once you get used to this, then I want you to practice keeping your hips locked in space. So here's both turning. Then if I focus on keeping my hips for the most part locked in space, they may turn a little bit. Then you will notice that you can get rotation at the next station, which is between the ribs and the hips. And that's how I was throwing that punch. I was generating force in my legs by splitting the ground. And then I was locking my hips in space. So that's moving. You can use, notice how you're using your legs to whip those hips. Well, I was whipping my hips and the moment that force hit my hips, I kind of counter rotated or took that force and sent it up to the next station. So I'm whipping my hips and then almost immediately freezing my hips in space. And that momentum travels up to my ribs and that's how I throw that punch. So just play around with it. First, just drive your legs forward and back. Then start playing around with trying to keep your hips a little bit more locked in space so that it's more of the upper body that's turning. And then just see if you can throw a punch and feel it come from the ground up out the arms. And now you're getting a taste of ground force tension. Thanks for your effort.